subscribe to simplified biology channel and press the bell icon to get notified when a new video is uploaded hello friends welcome to simplified biology today's topic is population interactions chapter organisms and populations population interactions now population is a group of individuals of a species which may be a plant species or an animal species inhabiting or living in a particular region or in a given area habitat is the place where the organism lives lives or you can say it is the locality of the organism now a habitat can never be occupied by a single species even a plant which can synthesize its own food cannot survive alone as it requires soil microbes which can convert organic matter present in the soil into simpler forms giving nutrient to the soil in which the plant grows it requires insects for pollination and animals for dispersal of seeds and fruits so even a plant species cannot survive alone it requires other organisms with which it can interact a habitat is occupied by a biological community biological community means a population of plants animals microbes like bacteria fungi all living together in an area and are interacting with each other for survival they all live together interacting with each other the characteristic of a habitat is the dominant forms of plants and animals life that are present there and this depends upon the environmental condition of the habitat it is the environmental condition that is the type of soil temperature rainfall all these decide the characteristic of the habitat now each species growing in a habitat has some role to play in the habitat it has some function to play in its habitat the functional role of a species that it plays in the ecological system is referred as ecological niche or you can say it is the profession of the species in the habitat no two species are believed to occupy exactly the same niche in a ecosystem the interdependence between species is mainly for food space reproduction and protection now interactions between species are important for the survival of different species
and the community as a group. Like for example, food interactions. Now food interactions we have seen in the food chain where plants are the producers upon which feeds the herbivores, then the carnivores and finally the decomposers. Now they are all dependent upon each other for the food. So this is an example of a food interaction. Interspecific interaction is interaction between populations of two different species in a community. Now these interactions, they may be positive interaction means beneficial to the organisms, negative interaction that is harmful to the organism or neutral means they are neither harmful nor do they benefit. The positive interactions are mutualism and commensalism. Now in mutualism is an interaction between two species which stay together throughout the life. So in these cases both are benefited. They can't live separately. So when they are together both are benefited as they are unable to live separately. So it is a positive interaction for both. Commensalism is an interaction between two species where one is benefited and the other one is neither harmed nor benefited. So, it is a positive interaction for one and neutral for the other. The negative interactions are predation, parasitism, competition, amensalism. Predation, it's an interaction between two species where one species kills and eats up the other species. So it is beneficial for one and harmful for the other. So positive interaction for one and negative for the other. Parasitism this too is an interaction between two species where one species lives inside or upon the other species. It is beneficial for one and harmful for other. So it is a positive interaction for one and negative for other. Next is competition. Now competition is interaction between two species or you can say it is a struggle between organisms 
for the same resource. It is harmful for both. So it is a negative interaction for both. And last, amensalism. Now in this case, it's an interaction between two species where one inhibits the growth of the other. So it is harmful for one and neutral for other. Negative for one and neutral for the other. That's all for today. In the next video, we'll go through the examples of various interactions. Please do like, subscribe and comment and also visit our website by clicking on the link given below. Thank you. Thank you for watching.